Welcome. Not too long ago, I did a video on how to solve a system of equations using a matrix. And I thought I'd follow that up by showing how you could also use a calculator. Specifically, where I'm going to use the TI-83 or 84 family of calculators in order to solve a system of equations. So if you recall, the process of solving a system of equations using a matrix, uh, or a calculator for that matter, is to really convert it into a matrix. And this will be handy for the calculator because this is how we have to uh, enter it in. And where the calculator comes in handy is it's going to be doing all of our row operations to make the process nice, easy, and simple. And of course, then we'll look at the resulting matrix and really just interpret what that solution really means. Again, be very careful. Some systems have no solution or they have infinite solutions, and you always want to be on the watch out for those when solving these. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the example and get this process started. Now, I'll be using my TI-84 Plus CE, so this has a nice uh, color screen, nice and sharp. But if you happen to be using, say, the 83 or 84, do not worry. This has the same menu system. It's just a little bit different in how it looks, uh, but all the steps are exactly the same. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, other minor changes that you may have noticed is I like to keep mine on classic mode. So if, again, it looks slightly different than what you're going, uh, if it looks slightly different than what you're looking at, go ahead and go to mode, and you can select it for either math print or classic. I like to keep mine on classic. All right. So step one is to get our system into the calculator uh, and make it look more like a matrix. You'll want to press your second button and then the matrix. It's right above that X to the negative one. This will bring up some options and we'll be working down this list from the right to the left. So let's go over there to edit and we'll select the first matrix in our list. You may already have something stored there, maybe not, doesn't matter. Press enter. And now we can go ahead and start entering in the dimensions of our matrix. This will be the number of rows and columns, including our coefficients on the end. So I have two rows, two, enter, and three columns, one, two, three, so a two by three. So it'll start to open up a little matrix and populate that with zeros. We'll just, we just need to put in our specific numbers into that matrix. So let's go down the line. So I'll go three, enter, two, enter, negative nine, enter, two, enter, negative five, enter, and negative six. Be careful that you're using that negative sign and not the subtraction symbol. That can cause a lot of problems if uh, you accidentally do that. Okay, so the good news is that is stored inside there. You can keep pressing enter and it will not take you out of this screen. Uh, to get back to where we actually need to go, go ahead and press second, quit. All right, now we're back on the home screen. So the matrix is in the calculator, it's stored, it's nice and safe. Now let's go ahead and tell the calculator to reduce it or go through that solving process. We'll press second and matrix one more time. And this time we'll be scrolling over for the math option. Math. Uh, we'll go all the way down this list. I'm looking for RREF, it stands for row reduced echelon form. And it happens to be number B on my list. That doesn't matter though. I just wanna make sure that it's highlighted so I can press enter and it will end up on my screen. Now, um, another common mistake with some of the older ones is to actually try and type in the name of your matrix. Uh, it works for some of the newer ones or some of the other models of calculators, but I find it's easiest to go back into the matrix screen and select it from the list of matrices. So we're telling it to solve using row reduced echelon form. We just need to tell it what matrix to do it on. So I'll go second matrix. We've stored everything into matrix A in this example. So I'll press enter, it's already highlighted. And it shows up on the screen, very nice. I will close the parentheses that it's opened up. And now I'll just press enter and the calculator will take care of the rest. So you can see that this does produce a matrix. This is in row reduced echelon form. And we just have to interpret what this means in terms of our solution. Everything in the first row here is a, an X or a coefficient on X. These are coefficients on Y's. These are our constant coefficients. So you can read this as X is equal to negative three, since that one is in the X column. And here I have a Y is equal to zero, since the one is in the Y column. So quickly and easily, we just have a solution to our original system. All right, the real power of this is when your systems start to get a little bit larger. So we'll do this one more time with a three by four and see how it really is the same process. All right, quickly, second matrix. 
Let's go ahead and go to our edit screen, enter. This happens to be a three by four, so we'll do the dimensions. Three, enter, four, enter. And now we'll do all of these coefficients, making sure we're using our negative sign for any negative coefficients. Four, two, negative three, six, one, negative four, one, negative four, negative one. No coefficient here, so we'll just use a zero, two, and two. All right, so it's all entered in. Enter is not gonna do anything, so we'll press second quit. Go to second matrix. Go into our math menu. Scroll all the way down looking for RREF, there it is. Now that that's on the screen, we can go second matrix. Select the first matrix where we have everything stored. Close our parentheses, press enter, and see what the matrix it spits out. All right, so 1002, 0102, 0012. So there's our matrix, and now we just have to interpret what this means. So we have X, Y, and Z. Looks like all of them are equal to two. And there's our solution. All right, hopefully that was nice, quick, and simple. Uh, and this calculator saves you a lot of time when solving these systems of equations. If you'd like to see some of my more videos or even how to do this by hand, definitely check out my website at mysecretmathtutor.com.